Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. So when you're shipping a package via eBay, uh, when you go to print a label, uh, usually it prints a label that has the the uh, label itself and then some information like the receipt or the uh, tracking information that's on the bottom half of that. Now, if you have uh, ad uh, labels or if you have uh, sheets of paper that are uh, basically designed to be labels where they're sticky or whatever, I'll link to those below if you're interested. Uh, you don't want it to print that re that instructions and tracking number on the other half of the page because you can use that for your next label. So I'm going to show you really quick how to uh, change those settings inside of eBay. So right here, I'm getting ready to ship a package. And if you look up in this top corner right here, uh, we're on this uh, page where we're calculating the uh, shipping information, uh, you can click on printer and label receipt preferences. And then you get this uh, box here that comes up and you can select what type of printer you're using. Most everyone's going to be using any laser or inkjet printer and printing on an 8.5 by 11 page. But right here, what do you want your labels to look like? Uh, you can choose whether or not you want the shipping label uh, to be on or shipping label with, with receipt and instructions uh, to be on there or not. So you uncheck that. And then it will just print the label itself, and it will not uh, print on that second half of your page, which is super annoying if you're using a label that is sticky, because <laughs> you don't want to waste the other half of the page. So then click Save, and you're good to go. Now, if you already purchased your uh, postage, then unfortunately, uh, and you already got the PDF and stuff, then uh, you are not probably going to be able to change it. The thing that I've done in the past though is you can use a PDF editor and uh, edit out that part of the page and then print it that way. But anyway, that's how you change it. That's how you change it permanently so that it doesn't always use up your second half of the page. If this video helped you out, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos. And we will talk to you later.